Welcome to the award presentation ceremony of the Ellis Writing Competition 2014-15. 大家好，歡迎各位嚟臨二零一四至一五年度通識英文寫作比賽嘅頒獎典禮。我係今次嘅司儀阿泰岑仲斌。通識英文寫作比賽由星島集團旗下嘅英文虎報 The Standard 舉辦。目的除咗鍛鍊學生嘅英文寫作能力之外，亦都更誒、呃、會藉住呢個機會，會鼓勵同學對社會時事多加嘅關注，從而獲得更多通識科嘅資訊。比賽喺上年十月就開始接受投稿，同學們都非常踴躍參加。小學組同埋中學組都各設有冠亞季軍同埋優異獎，共十個獎項。另外，為咗鼓勵學校嘅參與，大會亦都設立咗最踴躍參與嘅學校獎。今次嘅結果，相信大家喺剛才嘅展覽區已經見到。今年嘅參與非常之踴躍，小學同埋中學組加埋，總共有超過一千八百幾份嘅作品，而作品嘅水平都差唔多。可想而知，評選嘅工作有幾咁困難。而我哋就好榮幸能夠請到四位嘉賓作為評判，佢哋就係建造業議會執行總監蒲榮博士、香港公開大學英文及應用語言學系講師 Dr. a n a c h o 資深專欄作家 Mr. Newry f u t a c h i 同埋英文虎報總編輯湯錦彪先生。而家首先有請英文虎報總編輯湯錦彪先生同各位講幾句説話，總結一下今次嘅活動。May I invite the editor in chief of the Standard, Mr. Ivan Tong, to give us a short speech. Mr. Tong, please. Honourable guests, teachers, students, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome you all for joining us today at the 2014-2015 Liberal Studies Writing Competition Award Presentation Ceremony. This is the fourth consecutive year the competition has been held. Throughout the year, we received over a thousand entries from 15 primary schools and 2,500 entries from more than 100 secondary schools. Most of them were very well written, and so choosing the winners was not an easy task. At all for us as judges. At the same time, it is very impressive to see that students in Hong Kong are willing to express their views on local and global current affairs through English writing, which is not an easy task either, as our chief mode of communication is the Chinese language. I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate all our winners from this year's competition. Let's give them a big hand. In particular, I would like to highlight the efforts that the students have undoubtedly put in to make their essay stand out. From primary schools, we receive entries on a wide range of interesting topics. They include essays titled "Time to Wear Masks," "The Environment of Hong Kong," "Plastic Bag Levy," and "China Shaping Globalization in the Coming Decade." I'm glad to see that health. Health and environmental issues are topics that concern these young people. Secondary school students have written about various hot topics. Some of the outstanding entries we received were titled "Slave Fishing in a Globalized World," "McDonald's Globalized, Localized, and Globalized," and our empathy for Earth Hour. Can see that they have developed thoughts and insight on where the world is heading to right now, and what we should or could do to create to a brighter future. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our honourable judges for their valuable time. First, I would like to thank Dr. Christopher Toll, the Executive Director of the Construction Industry Council, who is also allowing us to use this. Zero carbon building today, and letting us have a guided tour of this high-tech green construction. My sincere thanks also go to Dr. Anna Cho, lecturer of English and Applied Linguistics of the Open University of Hong Kong, and esteemed writer Mr. Nuri Vitanchi for acting as judges of, of this competition and coming here today to share with us their views. I also would like to thank. Our other sponsors: Chinese Estate Holdings Limited, Rico, ABA Production, IMI, McDonald, Warner McDonald House Charities, and Venture Studios. 
Finally, I would like to take this opportunity to show my appreciation to the young writers, teachers, parents who were invited to attend today's ceremony. Thank you again, and I wish you all a most enjoyable afternoon. Thank you. Thank 而到底這個項目的理念和特色當然是什麼呢?有時要有請我們的評判嘉賓,建造業協會執行總監陶榮博士同我們講解一下 May I invite our guest, the Executive Director of the Construction Industry Council, Dr. Christopher To, to give us a short speech. Dr. Sun, please. Thank you everyone, thank you for those kind remarks. Welcome principals, teachers, parents, students to this zero carbon building. I'm very excited to see many young faces here. Congratulate yourselves, please. <laughs> the future is better than you think. Please let me tell you why. More and more people, even those from less resourceful parts of the world, who have access to education. Clean air and water. More rewarding and less hazardous jobs. Taking care of the Mother Earth will not stand in the way of economic development. Because saving the environment is economic growth. Not long from now, the world will not be flat. It will be fluid. Power brokers and old hierarchies will have to give way to young innovators. Our grandchildren will live in a society where everything is possible. How do we get there? You may now be wondering. First, we need to need technologies that change the way we work and the way we live. Believe it or not, thanks to all the great works done by innovators, engineers, scientists, and designers, a lot of these technologies are already here. Do you see the ceiling fans up here? They are no ordinary fans. Their painted and plant veins uh, move large volumes of air at low speed. The fans cool the room down while consuming much less energy. Room cooling here is also aided by earth cooling tubes, which harness the natural coolness of the ground under earth, us. This building is powered by renewable energy sources, as you may notice, the giant solar panels installed on the roof generated electricity for our use. Zero carbon building even boasts a native urban woodland, all grown from home grown plants from Hong Kong. And other landscape areas, including a vertical garden wall. We are proud to call this building Zero Carbon Building, short form ZCB, Hong Kong's first Zero Carbon Building. And I can tell you, it's really the first because I was in London last week and everyone was talking about Hong Kong's first Zero Carbon Building. As it was designed to leave no carbon footprints. You may join the guided tours of the Zero Carbon Building to check out some of the amazing things today's technology can do here. But technology and innovation alone are not enough to take us to a better future. We need wider adoption of these designs and technologies. We need to be aware of our impact on the environment. We need to promote and live a culture of sustainability. And that is exactly the reason why our partners, the standard, and my team at the Construction Industry Council want you to come here. We are all very proud of your achievements in writing about current events, the latest technologies, the society we live in. Essay writing is a deep engagement. 
with our intellect and compassion. I think it is an excellent practice to think through a problem and see what can be done. Many of you tackle globalization in your essays. You point out the problems that plague the world today. I am particularly heartened by your willingness to be challenged and your capacity to think about what we can all do. I quote one of you what you have said. As a global community, it is time to take action. You start with small steps. Take sustainability, for instance. I encourage you to explore the place. Tell your family and friends about your experience today. Zero carbon building is only the starting point of your journey. And what you can do with the knowledge and writing skills you have learned in liberal studies lessons is entirely up to you. At home, you may reflect on this day and think about what you can do later. Volunteer for a green cause. Find your passion that changes the world. Do something and help one another. After taking to many of the award-winning students today, I am very hopeful that the future is not only better than I think. It's really going to be this. Now, on behalf of the Construction Industry Council, and also the Standard, I want to congratulate our students today for a job well done. And also thank our principals, teachers, parents, for the efforts in nurturing these great minds, which Hong Kong really needs. Today, with this short speech, it is my pleasure to inspire students to make a difference in our world. Please, every effort counts. If I run into any of our winners again sometime today, I hope it will be my turn to get inspired and to celebrate the difference you have made. So, ladies and gentlemen, Students, everyone here, we must do something to our world and make it more sustainable. So on this note, I'd like to thank the standard for giving us an opportunity to promote uh, not just our my company, but also to promote our future well-being of our society. For this, I thank the standard and Mr. Tom for his efforts in terms of actually doing this little studies. And on this final note, I'd like to thank all of you because with your help, we can change the world. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you, Dr. Tho. You may now take a seat. Tom Sinsan, please come forward. Please be seated. We now have Tom Sinsan Ban Fa School of Public Service Award winner. First, it is the Public Service Award winner of the most valuable public school award. May I now invite Mr. Tom to present the award for School Champion of Primary School Section. The winner is the Yanzhe Yiyuan Luo Chen Chao Xi School. The winning school is Yanchai Hospital Luo Yan Luo Chen Chao Xi Primary School. 繼續頒發嘅係小學組嘅個人獎項。首先係優異獎。The merit prize winners are Saint Stephen Girls Primary School, Saint Stephen Girls Primary School, Saint Stephen Girls Primary School, Class B Five B, Audrey Wong Sik Chi. 九龍塘學校小學部 Class Five A, Choi Kwan Yin. Jingwa Jingwa Primary School, Jingwa 小學 Class Sixty, Kenneth Lee. Pongyang Chou Wong Wei Shu Primary School. 保良局黄梦树小学 ，Class 6R， 吴开成。
我们读国文书，翻开书。我们读国文书，小学 ，Class Six R， 潘志宇。Saint Mary's s t o o l 幺六三，圣马利学校 ，Class P R Six A， 毕业生。The champion goes to S K H Mount Anshan Holy Spirit Primary School, Singtong Boy Mount Anshan Chufeng School Hall, Class Five E, and Kim Chen Puye. Thank you, Mr. Tong. You may now take the seat. 各位方先生，趁呢個機會，等我同冠軍陳可傾下偈先。啊，陳可啊，先恭喜你得到小學組嘅冠軍啦。咁請問你得獎作品嘅題目同埋內容係啲咩？誒、呃，得獎作品個題目係就 Environment of Hong Kong。我做呢篇文嘅目的係因為而家小學嘅環保教育知識誒、呃、都係唔夠嘅。我希望可以喺做呢篇文嘅同時，俾其他人知道原來環保都係好重要。咁聽你睇嚟都幾好喎，咁你最中意寫嘅係邊類型嘅文章同埋點解？我中意寫故事，因為故事可以自己發揮所有嘅想像力咯。咁、嗯、你通常寫完之後會俾邊個睇啊？同埋都係點解？誒、呃，寫完之後會俾補習老師睇，因為補習老師會話翻俾你聽你錯啲咩，同埋誒講解翻你有咩寫得好同埋寫得唔好。OK，Thank、okay, you，Andy， 唔該陳同學。跟住落嚟到中學組，現在有請陶榮博士為我哋頒發中學組嘅獎項。May I invite Mr. Dr. Tong to present the award for secondary school section? Dr. Tong, please. 首先係最踴躍參與學校獎 ，School Champion of Secondary School Section。得獎學校係金文泰語中學。The winning school is Carmel Park New Secondary School。有請代表上台領獎。繼續會頒發中學組嘅個人獎項。首先係優異獎。The merit prize winners are King George Five School， 英皇佐治五世學校 ，Class Eight and Five M， May Maisha Maria。Yu Chong International School Secondary Section， 耀中國際學校中學部 ，Class Seven B， Michelle Lo。German Swiss International School， 瑞德國際學校 ，Class Y Eight D， Ruth Sharp Hansen。
Saint Francis Xavier's College, Saint Francis Xu Class Six C, Tou Mao Fong, Baker. CCC KG Secondary School, Zhonghua Gao Gao Hui Di Zi Zhong Hao, Class Six F, Wang Qishan. International Christian School, Gao Gao Guo Zai Hao Hao, Class Ten G Five, Yan Tong Wei Chou Ten. Saint Francis Xavier's College, Saint Francis Xu Yun, Class Six C, Yun Wai Ten. Uh, please take note. The second runner up goes to St. Paul's School Educational College, St. Paul Law Lao Zhong Hong, Form 5, Form Chi Yi, Natalie. The first runner goes to Delian Memorial School, Hipwo. They are so located in Hohao, Hipwo. Class 6C, uh, Aljo Grosbeck. The champion goes to South Island School, Nam Lo Zhong Hong, Class 10 and 2, Karina Pun Hao Yi. Thank you, Dr. To. You may now take the seat. Hello, Karina, and congratulations. Would you tell us the topic and content of your award winning composition? Well, I chose to write about slavery and the connection that it had with globalization because I was very interested in the causes of modern day slavery. So I decided to look at the plight of the fishermen involved in Thailand's seafood industry. Wow, that sounds interesting. So what kind of topics do you like most to write about and why? I like writing non-fiction texts, um, especially argumentative writing and things involved with journalism because I feel like I can, I can connect with the content on an emotional level and I think it's very important to feel empathy and believe in what you're writing. So how do you manage your time between study and entertainment? This is quite a tricky thing to do and I admit I'm still trying to get it right. But what I try to do is set myself, uh, delegate tasks that I do each day and set up a cutoff time so I can still have time to balance between work and play. Okay, so thank you, Karina. Good morning, Tom Hong. So the result has been announced. Now, we have a guest today, and the guest will take a photo with the winner. Thank you, Tom Hong. Thank you, Tom Hong.
唔該曬各位，再一次恭賀各位失獎者，同埋多謝各位嘉賓嘅莅臨。Congratulations to all winners and thank you all for joining us today. We hope to see you again next year. 希望大家嚟繼續支持通識英文寫作比賽，多啲投稿參賽。我哋下年再見。